So I think it's just a lot of fun to be able to add this extra layer of story and life into your spaces. And you don't need a million bucks to be able to have florals and greenery in your home. Hi, welcome to the House of Valentina. I'm so excited that you have stopped by. Today we are talking about all things vases. Now, Valentine's Day is right around the corner and spring is right on its heels. So it's the perfect time to talk about vases because we all wanna have flowers in our homes. And quite frankly, the winter is one of the times that I want flowers the most in my home. So either way, I thought this video would be a lot of fun to talk about the vases that I think are the building blocks, the staples that you really just need to have so that you can buy whatever kind of flowers that you want, clip flowers from your garden. I'll show you all different techniques and all different sizes and shapes. I've styled up each of these vases that I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna walk you around my house, show you the different vases, and so you get like a mini tour of my house, and um, hopefully we'll have a really fun chat about vases, and yeah, if that sounds like fun to you, make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already, and give the video a thumbs up, and um, yeah, let's start talking about vases. What a larger scale vase will do, like this little beauty, oh, from Pottery Barn, oh my gosh, here, let me bring you guys closer so you can see better. Okay, so I have this vase that I bought, I got this, the big one, from Pottery Barn, and I've owned the little one for forever, and I've recommended it probably a thousand times on this channel, you probably wish I would just shut up about it. I'm gonna show it to you one more time. <laughs> but that's what happens when you buy pieces that you can use over and over and over and they just work in so many different spaces and they just work with so many different florals. That's the great thing about a really good vase. So I ordered the, um, the, the mama. <laughs> this is the mama of the little baby one and Oh, is she beautiful? It actually has a, an incredible texture and it really adds to the scale of the space and it allows me to really lift the entire room. So even if you have a smaller space, you still need nice big pieces like these because what they will do is they will make your space feel bigger, they will actually draw your eye up, especially depending on what you put in them. I really like to play with branches Okay, so let me just tell you before we just, I start showing you all these. My husband, I asked him to go out to the yard and clip a few branches and he brought back half the tree. So I'm too afraid to even go. I'm actually too afraid to go outside and even look to see what he has done to the tree because I'm pretty sure there's nothing left of it because he brought in a massive branch. So I had quite a few branches off of that tree to play with, um, thanks to my husband. And so I've used them in different ways and it actually, it's actually really fun for you guys, I think, to be able to see how you can even use branches from the same tree in so many different ways. So this one had this natural bend in it and I thought that that was so beautiful and I love the way that it just kind of cascades over this area and it really just ties all of it together. It's, there's just that, that movement really just draws that whole space together and I think that that is really beautiful and it's just one way to have a connectedness of a space. So over here is my desk area and if you watched my recent video about Valentine's Day, you will have seen that I suggested this amazing vase and of course, who wouldn't love to have these incredible flowers from Urban Steps. So when you get a big bouquet and somebody has treated you or you have treated yourself to a beautiful bouquet, whether it's from Urban Stems or maybe you found it at Trader Joe's or at the grocery store or maybe you've gone to a florist and gotten a beautiful bouquet, Valentine's Day or any day of the week, you, you really need a vase to be able to put them in because the vase really matter. So when you've gotten these beautiful flowers, you really need a vase that fits them. These flowers are now a week old. So I have taken some out of them and I've kind of, you can see here, one of the roses has dried. So I'll be taking that out later, but you can really, really get your use out of a vase like this because whether you are clipping from your garden and you have a spring harvest or you have a beautiful bouquet of flowers like this, this is a staple 
vase that will really just carry you through season after season after season. It's a, and, and the reason I do these mostly in white and black is because I want them to last no matter what trend, no matter what color mood I'm in, no matter what is happening. A basic vase like this is always a great investment for your home because you'll be able to use it over and over again for many, many years. So that's why I really love this. And then having a beautiful shape like that with that origami shape, it just makes it really special. And so it's special, but it's also a staple item. So it's something that you'll really just enjoy. And I know that I'm really enjoying these beautiful flowers and I'm excited to be able to style the vase up with other flowers when these are done, but ugh, not done yet. And I just love having them. I ended up putting them here by my desk because it just brings me a smile to my face and it's such a joy. So don't be afraid to treat yourself to flowers. I buy a lot of bouquets. Okay, I really enjoyed these from Urban Stems and I would love to be on the subscription with them because oh, wouldn't that be awesome? But I do also buy quite a bit from the grocery store. I try to buy bouquets that have a little bit of a mix or sometimes I'll buy a few different ones and make my own little bouquet and you can really have flowers in your home for very little money. So, all right, let's look at some more vases. <laughs> okay, so next up I have this incredible bud vase which I ordered off of Amazon, which I still cannot believe because it truly looks like it was made by an artisan. It truly looks handmade and it is stunning. And I really love the texture that it has. It's, it's um, like an unfinished ceramic here and then it's got the beautiful glaze. When you have a vase that has these kinds of textures to them, it really adds to the flavor of your space. Not only does it do that, but it also gives you the opportunity to use smaller blooms. I like having something like this in a smaller setting where I'm not trying to make a huge statement. And the great thing about this size is that when the flowers may be off of that bouquet that you just got for Valentine's Day, some of the blooms have gone and some of them are still great. You can trim them down a little bit, give them fresh water and put them in a bud vase and get another week or so out of them. So I really love the bud vase. I think it's an essential. And I just think that this one is breathtaking. That color is gorgeous. And you can see where I've literally taken the bottoms, <laughs> the little trimmings off of the bigger branches. I've taken the little pieces off of it and created an entirely different look right here next to the fireplace. And it just looks so nice in a setting with books and a lamp and it's not meant to be this massive statement that's drawing your eye up, but instead it's adding intimacy and personality and a little bit of soul. So up here I have the Gigantor base. These are perfect if you do not have a TV over the fireplace. I'm going to eventually commit to a mirror that will be up here, but until then, I need something that really just draws the eye up and adds drama to this space. So that's why I chose this really, really big one, which you're not gonna believe. It is from Home Depot. I know, I know. And these typically will sell out, so I'm gonna leave a link for an alternative location where I found these as well, just in case the first link doesn't work. You'll be able to find them at Wayfair as well. But the texture on this, it just adds so much soul to the space. And when you put something like this against something that's so modern and clean, the juxtaposition of those is breathtaking. Not only did the size itself and the texture of the vase and all those things really have a big voice in this room, using these oversized branches, which honestly, I probably wouldn't <laughs> have clipped them this big, except that my husband brought, you know, half the tree. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna clip it and put it in the vase and then see what it does. And it's actually quite amazing how it just really fills this whole space. So you can definitely go big, go really, really big, go extra with what you put inside of it. And it will really just fill out your space and make such a huge statement. One of the things I've done as well is I've put a, a smaller vase inside that holds the water so that I don't have to fill the entire vase and make this too heavy. That's just one more extra little tip. Now we've actually moved to my kitchen area. I wanted to show you what it looked like wide and zoomed out because you're gonna see that in this space, I actually have several vases that are in this room and they're all doing different things in the space. 
and they're filled with different materials, they're filled with different things. And those things are definitely making the space feel a certain way. And that's how you can really utilize your vases. So let's zoom in a little bit more and let's start maybe with this one over here. First of all, over here I have this beautiful urn-like vase. And I just think that this is so beautiful because it's got a crackle finish in it. I love that it's got a little pedestal. It just, it brings in a little bit of like a trophy kind of feel and a little bit of sophistication. Today it's got these eucalyptus branches in it. A lot of times I'll use it for something really tall. You can see how I could take it wide and then also go tall. I wanted to show you different materials and how you can really just play with them. So have fun with your vases, but having a good staple piece makes it so that you can really you're gonna get your money's worth out of it instead of feeling like you always have to buy a different vase to go with the different flowers and um, always trying to mix it up. The material itself that you put in it is what you mix up. This is actually more cost effective this way. And then I think putting a nice low piece with maybe limes, I like to have green typically in a bowl. I just like that it brings life to a space. So this is just how you can create a little moment right here in your kitchen. Next up, we have this beautiful, beautiful vase, which I actually found at Home Goods. So this was very, very affordable. I found a link for one online if you're really wanting this and you don't have a Home Goods near you. This kind of texture and pattern on a vase really tells a different kind of story, doesn't it? Isn't it so fun how different and individual each of these vases can be? So you can really play with different kinds of vases to get completely different looks. That's what's so fun about a vase and the florals and the greenery and the things that you fill it with is that it really tells a bigger story. It allows you to tell a bigger story than maybe you could tell with just objects that there's no greenery. It does add life. It, it adds an opportunity, a layer to everything that you're doing. Last but not least for the kitchen is the sister of the mega one that was on the fireplace. And oh my gosh, this thing is so cool. And no, I cannot pick it up because it is humongous and it is very heavy and it is incredible. The texture on this one, just like the sister one, it blew my mind. And I just like having one that was really tall and one that was kind of short and fat because you can see how I've purposely gone kind of tall with some of the tall branches and then I've got this lower bit that's just kind of coming this way and I'm really able to tell my story and what I want to say to this area through this greenery. And now that I'm seeing how much I love this, I'm thinking maybe I should get a tree and actually plant it inside of this because the mouth is so wide that I could definitely do that. So when you think about your vases, don't just think one dimensionally about them, that they have to have flowers in them. They can have greenery like this and be so amazing. If you have watched our past video where we gave you a tour of this room, then you might even remember that we had talked about so many things that are happening in this space. One of them is my Pottery Barn vase. And this is one that I've owned, again, for so long, and I just love it. And it's just, it's got amazing texture, it's really warm. It's interesting to me that this one actually has more of like a raw feeling than the Big Mama one that I showed you in the beginning. I love them both. I think that they both serve two very different purposes. This vase, the reason it makes it probably the number one vase for your average home, that everybody just needs to have a vase like this, is that the mouth opening is the right size. I see a lot of times where you'll have a vase that's about this size, it's about 12 inches tall, but the, the mouth is really narrow on it. Well, you can't put a bouquet into that. Or if the mouth is super wide, then your bouquet just flops everywhere. So that's why I love this vase so much is because it's just the right size. At the moment, I just have some camellias in it that I clipped from the garden. If you remember, these were actually, I think they were, at least I think they were in that video. Um, if they weren't, I apologize. But if not, I clipped these around that time. It's been, gosh, I think it's been almost two weeks and the greenery has actually lasted. Some of it is dried and I'm completely okay with that. I don't, I'm not afraid for my florals to dry. 
and sometimes they look really good when they dry and sometimes they look terrible and I just I just decide should they go or should they stay sometimes I leave them even in a dried state because I just like the way that it looks and other times I'll just pull it out and the other thing that I really like about it while we're talking about it is that it's not clear the advantage to having it to where it's not clear is that you can't see all the icky stems sometimes that's not very nice to look at especially when you have a lot of things in a vase it's just it's just not pretty. So when this is a solid color like this, then it hides all the stems and it just, it feels very elegant, very sophisticated, and a little bit more expensive looking, I think, than if you just have a clear vase. Last but certainly not least, this is actually one of my favorite vases in the entire house. Actually, it's one of the few things that I brought back with me from Europe because it was one of the things that I loved more than anything else that I owned and it had to come home with me. And that is the Omagio vase by Keller. And this is a Danish design company. It was my statement vase. It was the one that I loved more than anything else and I just had to have it. And I think that we all need a vase like that in our collection. It's the vase that you just can't wait to fill. And of course, it's got this position here of honor because this is where we get ready every single morning. It's where I drink my coffee and it's it's everything for us. It's such a an inner sanctum place. If that makes any sense. Like this is some this is a place that is very special and very important to us and it really sets the mood for the day. So having flowers in this room is something that it is a little bit indulgent, but it's also this moment of self-care for me and for Jack because it just makes you happy when you have some beautiful flowers in here. These were $6.99 from Whole Foods. They were buy one get one free. Oh my gosh, like this is not that expensive. I, I'd rather go without cookies or something, a, a treat, because for me this is this is something that I just it just brings so much happiness to my soul and I just really love it. And that's why I think that we all need that statement vase. And you could almost change the water every day with these because they get slimy on the bottom and oh, they stink to high heavens if you have not changed out that water. So I'll go through the house. I don't have time to clip and redo the water every single day, but I do try to do that with the tulips and maybe with like something from the forest. But the greenery, I'll switch it out maybe after a few days and you know, switch out the water, clean them out, clean out the vase really good. That's another quick tip. And um, yeah, I think maybe we need like a vase tip. <laughs> maybe that's our separate, I, I feel like we're going into another video. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop here for now. But um, thank you so much for stopping by. And let me know if you have a vase that you think is just the best thing on the planet because I am doing this all the time for my own home and for others. So I always love to hear about the things that you love and things that really matter to you. And maybe you have a base in your collection and it has a really great story. I really love hearing your stories and those things that make your house feel like your home. So write that down in the comment section as well. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already and give the video a thumbs up. And if you are interested in more behind the scenes things that are happening in between videos, make sure you visit us at Instagram. We have the two accounts over there, The House of Valentina and Valentina Fussell, because we just want to fill you up with all kinds of inspiration all day, every day, if we can. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and for hanging out at my house all over the place. We were, we were all over the place today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>